This is the second video of series of uh, actually VMware uh, recap exam 2022. So, and I want to go through for second question somehow. Actually, they ask for create that custom TCP IP stack called port stack via ESXCLI command. I would say if you're really familiar with ESXCLI command, that's really a piece of cake for you. And you can go through with that SSH to that ESXI host, which is they ask. And after that, you can simply create that prod stack, actually custom TCP IP stack on that ESXI host. So let me full screen that. And here you have that possibility to use that Puthi. And as that pre saved here, I choose, for example, as a uh, scenario for E6 and number one. And just double click on it. You don't need to put any additional information. I use that clear for clear the screen, actually. And here is some example which is you can use for better understanding on how E6 CLI works actually. That's E6. E6 CLI. The property which is we want to actually work on it is in a network. So I go for a network and hit enter. If you don't know the exact switch which is you have to use, it doesn't matter. It's okay. You can go through ESXCLI in a network side, you want to do something, hit that network, put that network here and hit enter. So in this case, I want to do something which is related to that IP. And here is in some description, like operations that can be performed on VMKNX. Okay. I say network space again IP, but for the rest again I don't know what's exactly the next switch or next syntax. So I hit that enter again, and when you're looking some uh, available name spaces we have here, and here really interesting net stack, which is also here have that some descriptions there. I choose again the IP and say net stack, hit enter again. And as you can see, go a little bit upper. I want to add something here, which is that related to net stack based on question. So, and I said add. Hit enter again because I don't know exactly that switch or syntax here. So, and that's it. If you want to use that net stack's name or the network stack instance, which is it required totally, you can use that minus capital N. I said, so that's really nice, minus capital N space. And you have to be careful of what they ask you regarding the name inside the question. That called prod underscore stack. And that P of the beginning and S of the beginning of those are on capital four. So prod underscore stack, minimize that, say prod underscore stack. Hit enter. If you receive any error message or whatever, you have to follow that error messages. For example, maybe you missed something regarding that syntax. Maybe you missed some uh, something in between. What? If you want to make sure everything's look good, first of all, the first sign is you didn't receive or you don't receive any error message at all or any messages after hit enter for that command. Okay, 
that's not really good news. So I want to get that list of net stack which is we have already. So for a reason you can type that again ASXCLI if you want to do that by actually command. Uh, also there is a way for graphical things from GUI you can do that. But I want to show you here about that ASXCLI command. ASXCLI network again IP and I want to see what is related of net stack which is we have and say list and here you can make sure we have that pro stack here which is we created already you know uh, if you want to make sure from the GUI on e 6 one you can follow that configure TCP IP configuration and you can see here there is an prod underscore stack is here absolutely you didn't put any additional configuration regarding the default gateway IP address which is that can handle the traffic by that uh, actually uh, by that TCP IP stack which is you created but if they ask you simply create that such a thing that's it you don't need to do any additional things at all just double check that you did on a right way and specific when they ask you you have to do that over the command line you have to do it here by command don't go through with that GUI and create it from that vCenter actually web interface you have to do it by command line i hope you enjoyed that videos keep in touch with me this is a second video and i will go to go through for a third video and see what happened there stay with me stay in touch mm -hmm.